Hey, what's up you guys? Thanks for tapping in. It's just me today. And if you're new here, my name is Shawnice. I'm a wife to my husband, Jeremy, and a stay-at-home mom to our three girls, Jade, Seda, and Gia. On our family channel, we share real family moments with a little bit of humor and encouragement. But today I'm sharing with you guys what I'm throwing in my daughter's Easter basket. So let's, let's get it going. All right, so first we're gonna start off with the baskets. I thrifted all of my baskets. I tend to thrift all of my baskets. I just find them to be way more durable and they're just cuter and have more, way more character. The first one that I found was this basket. Um, it's a white basket, which I'm never really into the white, but this one I thought was really cute. I found this one. This one's a little mm, lopsided, so I wasn't sure if I was going to use this one. This one was very cute that would be perfect for Gia, my seven month old. But then I started to realize like nothing really is going to fit in here. This is just too tiny. But either way, it's cute. And then lastly, I got this one, which is huge, as you can see. And so I decided that Jade and Seda, my two oldest, they are four and three years old. They are going to share. So I'm going to throw all of their things in this one together. And I felt like it would be perfect because some of the things that I got are pretty big in size. So this one really would work. Um, as far as like the filler and, you know, the trash that goes in the baskets, I was browsing Amazon and I just felt like it was so wasteful to pay for some paper that was just going to be stuffed in a basket to then be thrown away. So I ended up um, getting some shredded paper, some shredded documents. <laughs> Jeremy came through with these and this is going to be kind of like that filler in the basket. I still need a lot more, but for now this will do. You know, if you have your own paper shredder, do that for your baskets. It's less wasteful. So starting off with Gia's basket, I didn't really buy her a lot. I mean, she's a baby. She doesn't have a need for a lot of things, but I've ran into or I found some cute things that I felt would be cute for her basket. I got her this book. She doesn't have very many books of her own. Jade and Seda have most of the books. I don't know. I just really love this author in this um, illustration or the illustrations that are in this book. And then it's just perfect for spring, spring vibes. And you know, she's on her way to having her own book collection. And I got this one from Target. I normally do not buy books from Target, but when I was there shopping, I saw this and I got it. So also for Gia, I got her this little toy duck. It has the wheels on it and you know, you can roll it around. She's on the move nowadays. She's crawling a lot. She tries to stand a lot. And I just feel like she's gonna be on her way to pulling things and trying to walk. So I feel like this would be perfect. And also spring vibes, you know? Got this from Target, $14.99. I mean, I would love for it to have been cheaper, but it is what it is, so. Got that for Gia. So also for Gia, I got her some leather loafers. These are from Starry Night. Um, I'm not gonna lie, when I this is my first time ordering from Starry Night. And when they first came, I was kind of like, mm. cause if you look, if you could see, it's very different. I guess with it being 100% leather, it's not always going to look the same. But it was just so drastic in appearance and how different it was that I was kind of like, is this used? But nonetheless, they're cute, great quality, they're handmade. And yeah, I mean, I can't wait for her to wear these. She still has a little bit of growing to do until she could properly fit these. But until then, I'm gonna just enjoy <laughs> these. Okay, and that's that was it for Gia. Like I said, she's seven months old. She doesn't have a need or a desire for things at her age. So, you know, I just wanted to get her a little something so she's not left out. But moving on to the bigger girls, um, I got them a few things from Target when I was at Target browsing around and I found these cute little hats. They were only five bucks. They, I'm sure, are for adults, but I mean, 
there's not a lot of space for the head. This don't fit on my head. So I was like, this would be perfect for the girls. They love wearing hats too. So yeah, Target, five bucks, sun hat. Also from Target, I grabbed them these cute little books. These are also five bucks. You know, these are the little classic golden books and I just thought they were cute. They also have a couple of these already. So I feel like this will be cute to add to their little collection. And then again, perfect for springtime. I still have yet to buy, cause I, for every season, I like to buy some sort of biblical book for them. And you know, they always get a, a resurrection book for Easter or like I said, some sort of biblical book. And I have not ordered one yet for them. I'm still trying to decide which one I want, but I want to add another book for them in their basket because they love books. And I like to make sure they are learning about the reason for whatever season that we're in. Again, also from Target. I got this little notebook. I thought this notebook was so cute. The little details. I love the print of the flower. Um, this one is for Jade actually, because she is she's my oldest. She's she'll be five in May. And she loves writing. Like she she don't really know what she's writing yet, but she loves to write letters. She loves to have her own little like she's my kid who I feel like will have her own diary. You know, she's always saying things are her notebook things are in like it's not even close to a notebook so i was like this would be so perfect for her to have her own little springy vibe notebook and i thought it was so cute this was pricey though again i don't ever shop at target i was just i don't know i was on one that day because normally i'll go to marshall's or ross for notebooks but i was there and i just got it so next so also with the whole school vibe thing, the girls have backpacks. They have these little tiny backpacks that my mom bought them like a long time ago. And they're just, they're small, you know, and I don't really have a proper backpack for them when they're going to spend the night somewhere or when they have to just take a bunch of their stuff somewhere. So I wanted to get them a backpack and that's what I did, me and hubby. That was also Jeremy's idea. Jeremy wanted to get them a backpack. And so I got them these backpacks. I haven't even opened them up yet, but I believe these are backpacks from Tilly's. Um, still a smaller backpack. You know, it's not the average size backpack, but perfect for the girls, you know. I didn't want to get something too big. But this is the Billabong brand. I got this from Amazon. Um, and I'll definitely link everything down below if it is available. But I just love this print again. And, you know, I got to keep it with the spring vibes. We have to have florally... You know, I don't usually do bright colors and things like that, but I also don't want to not have a vibe of spring going because of that. So anything with floral that's neutral, I'm all for. They both got one. So Jade and Seda love my chapstick, my lip balm, my whatever you want to call it. They are obsessed with it. Whenever I pull it out, it's like, mommy, can I have some? So I felt like it was necessary to get their own. Um, I got this one from Marshalls. This was a three pack for $4.99. This is a very clean lip balm. This is eucalyptus and mint, and it has milk and honey, but the ingredients are super clean. It's organic sunflower oil, organic beeswax, organic coconut oil, organic peppermint oil, organic eucalyptus oil, vitamin E, organic rosemary leaf extract, organic calendula flower extract and that's it like <sighs> that's all there needs to be you know so i thought this was perfect for them they're finally gonna have their own lip balm we live in california here so we do not get a lot of rain but this year we got a ton of rain like as you guys probably know we got snow over here in california and it was just it was a crazy year and our household only has one umbrella and the girls are always trying to play with my umbrella they actually broke part of my umbrella so i just felt like it was time to get them their own umbrellas and what perfect time than now you know add it to their easter basket 
So I got these umbrellas from a website called Smallable. Isn't it cute? Legitimately my first time opening this. And as I'm filling this, this one is so much, this one just feels better and it's cuter. Look, it has the, like, the little bunny print. Let me open it. Look at that print. This one just feels like better quality. I should have got myself an umbrella. But it also has like the, the pleather handle. I don't know if you can see. So it's like a nice feel to it. And this one, this one is still cute. I mean, it's still very cute. But it just, it, it doesn't feel like the same quality as the other one. And then this one's not as cute. This one has polka dots. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully there's no fight. And it's just the regular, like, plastic handle. But still very cute. Again, I love my neutrals and... That's why I decided to go with this uh, website, Smallable. Okay, moving on. Target had these little eggs, these wooden eggs. I thought perfect for like little basket fillers because I'm not too big on like candy and treats. Like my girls don't eat candy. Um, a lot of things and sweets that they eat are usually homemade. So I thought this would be cute. And they still love playing with their toy kitchen and all their you know, um, play food. So this would be cute and they don't own any play eggs. So, and this one was only $3. So I bought these lollipops months ago just because they had been begging to try a lollipop. And this is not something that they typically will eat. So that's why it's lasted so long. But I felt like this would be perfect to add to their baskets just to give them a little treat and they don't know. They don't know that this is the same bag from months ago, you know? So that's what we're gonna add as far as the little sweet treats. And then I like to add also like some sort of activity sort of thing. So they have some of the things that they need, some of the things that they've been wanting, like an umbrella. And I like to add in some sort of activity. And lately they love, love, love being in the kitchen with me, especially Seda, like she loves being in the kitchen. And so I did like a little personalized like baking kit. This one specifically is oatmeal raisin cookies. And I, you know, attached the little card and I put the ingredients on there because they are learning how to measure, how to, you know, the difference between tablespoon, teaspoon, cups, and all that stuff. This will be not only fun for them, but you know, a learning activity, an educational activity. Um, and I only put raisins and oats in here. And then obviously all the other ingredients, sugar, flour, baking soda, all that good stuff will go in their batch when they're actually in the kitchen with me making it. And maybe we'll do that on Easter, make some fresh baked oatmeal raisin cookies on Easter. And yeah, so, you know, don't have to spend a lot of money. Um, sometimes it's the thought. So that is it. That is it for their baskets. I feel like I kept it very simple, sustainable to the things that they actually need or have been wanting and not just throwing in, you know, junk toys. That's what I call them, junk toys. Because I'm, I'm a toy thrower awayer. I will toss it. And I don't like spending money on things that I know I'm going to toss. I try to make sure I was mindful of everything I purchased and making sure there was going to be a use for it, a more than one time use for it. So, and that's the way I like to shop in general. But that concludes this video. If you guys enjoyed, thank you so very much. I appreciate you even, you know, clicking on this video. If you liked anything that I shared, definitely give this video a thumbs up comment down below. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and have a good Easter.